Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Quote of the day, you are never alone because Allah is always with you. Today, the topic of my presentation is early theories of motivation under kind supervision of Professor Dr. Saira Abzal. Learning outline of my presentation is five theories about uh, motivation, Maslow hierarchy of needs, Hertzberg theory, McLeod's theory, ERG theory, McRogers theory, recent updates, and at the end, there is an MCQ session. By the end of this presentation, participants would be able to describe different early theories of motivation. First of all, we define what is motivation. The process that accounts for an individual intensity, direction, and persistence of effort towards attaining a specific goal. Intent in what is intensity? The amount of effort put forth to meet the goal. Direction, efforts are channeled towards organizational goal. And persistence, how long the effort is maintained. There are five early theories of motivation, Maslow hierarchy of needs theory, McRogers theory, X and Y, Hertzberg theory, which is also known as two-factor theory, uh, motivation hygiene theory, and McLellan's theory of needs, which are also known as three needs theory and ERG theory. First, we discuss Maslow hierarchy of needs in basically in Maslow hierarchy of needs, there are five levels of uh, there are five levels of intervention, physiological needs, safety, love and belongingness, esteem, and self-actualization. According to Maslow theory, a person's motivational needs can be put in a hierarchy, hierarchical manner. Though no need is fully gratified, a thoroughly satisfied needs will no longer serve as a source of motivation. So according to the theory, before motivating someone, it is important to know at what level of need that person is or she can be. So uh, stand in physiological needs. The lie at the lowest level and constitute bodily needs like hunger, thirst, and sex, etc. Then comes the safety needs. They are concerned with the protection of both physical and emotional levels. So a person would seek to work in an environment where adequate protection measures are in place. At the same time, insurance policies that promise to take care of an employee in event of any adversity take care of his emotional safety need. Then comes the social need. In social need, refer to the thing like friendship, belongingness. Since man is a social animal, he is bound to have social relationship at different places. The needs arise once safety needs are fulfilled. Then comes the esteem needs. Every person seeks individual success that satisfy his inner esteem. Now, esteem needs can be either internal, like autonomy and achievement, or external like status and recognition. These needs lie at one level below the highest level. And then comes the highest level of hierarchy and that is known as self-actualization. These needs lie at the highest level. This need is concerned with the urge to discover oneself and find one's true inner potential which can lead him or her to the highest level of success. Now the researcher proposed the eight stage Maslow hierarchy of needs. Maslow theory has been elaborated upon by other researchers. Maslow original five stage model has been adapt adapted by other researchers who have analyzed Maslow theory, developed both seven and eight stage hierarchy of needs and the additional needs which are added in the basic five state Maslow hierarchy is cognitive needs, aesthetic needs, and transcendence need. What is cognitive needs? Need to know and understand. In aesthetic needs, express oneself in a pleasing way. And transcendence needs, helping others to achieve self-actualization. This is uh, the diagrammatic representation of Maslow eight stage hierarchy of need. 
and they categorize um, this eight state in further two categories. The, the lowest four are known as deficiency needs and upper five are known as growth needs. What is the limitation of Maslow hierarchy of needs? Maslow theory is widely read, but it has been criticized as well. The major flaw with the theory is that empirical research doesn't validate it. Then there are other needs like spiritual needs, which were not identified by Maslow. Then comes the McRoger theory. This theory was proposed by Douglas McRoger. According to this theory, human beings have got two distinct point of views, negative and positive. So as per theory X, the managers are of the view that employer didn't like their job and so there is a need for a directing them and in some cases for urging them. Theory Y is just opposite and according to it, the employees find their job as normal as any journal activity like recreation and playing. So it is a positive outlook on the part of the managers. That basically means that employees can be trusted with taking up the responsibilities. As per McRoger, challenging job and participative decision making act as a source of motivation for the employees. There is the limitation of McRoger's theory. This is to be noted that both theories are assumptions and there is no empirical proof for the same. That's why theory X and theory Y didn't get that much prominence. This is the diagrammatic representation of McRoger X and Y. Theory X inherit dislike for work and will attempt to avoid it, must be correctly controlled or threatened with punishment. View work as being as natural as rest or play, will exercise self-direction and self-control if committed to objective. Now comes the McLellard's theory of motivation. According to this theory, any person will have either of the following three needs. This theory is also known as three needs theory. Need for achievement, need for power, need for revelation. A person with, with this need will strive to excel and have success in whichever field he is working. Need for power. A person with this need would want to wield power and influence other on its basis. And need for humiliation. A person with this need seek friendly relationship with the people around him. Uh, McLellard's uh, theory also describes the uh, qualities of high achievers. High achievers prefer job with personal responsibility, feedback, and intermediate degree of risk 50-50. High achievers are not necessarily good managers. High achievers have high need of power and low need of affiliation is related to managerial success. What is the limitation of McLellard's theory? This theory found more takers, but still there were constraints. For example, the measurement of these needs wasn't easy, and so that posed a problem in checking the validity of the theory. Now comes the Herzberg theory, which is also known as two-factor theory, and the two factors are hygiene factor and motivation factor. In two-factor theory, which is also known as motivation hygiene theory, was given by Frederick Hesburgh. According to this theory, there are two different set of factors that influence the employee. First one is hygiene factor, include wages, working condition, job security. The presence of these factors ensure that the employees are not dissatisfied with their job. In motivating factor, to make the job satisfying for them, Employers should be provided with challenging opportunities that can give them recognition and growth. These factors are called motivation factors. This is the diagrammatic representation of Herzberg two-factor theory. In hygiene factor, quality of supervision, pay, company policy, physical working condition, relationship, job security, and in motivation factor, promotional opportunities, opportunities for personal growth, recognition, responsibility, and achievement.
limitation. This theory has faced several criticisms. The worst, very first criticism is about the reliability of Herzberg methodology. Secondly, there were concerns with the measurement of the overall satisfaction. As a result, the theory didn't find much support, though it has been widely read and still taught in the management classes. Now comes the elder first ERG theory. E stands for existence, R relatedness, and G for growth. These theories suggest that there are three group of four needs, existence, relatedness, and growth. These groups are aligned with the Maslow level of physiological needs, social need, and self-actualization needs. What is existence needs? Existence needs concern over basic material requirement for living, which include what Maslow categorized as physiological needs, such as air, sea, food, water, clothing, sex, and shelter, and safety-related needs, such as health, secure employment, and property. Then comes the relatedness needs have to do with the importance of maintaining interpersonal relationship. These needs are based on social interaction with others and are aligned with Maslow levels of love, belongingness related needs such as friendship, family and sexual intimacy and esteem related needs such as going to the respect of others. Then comes the growth needs. The growth need describe over intrinsic desire for personal development. These needs are aligned with the other part of Maslow esteem related needs such as self-esteem, self-confidence and achievement and self-actualization needs such as morality, creativity, problem solving and discovery. This is the diagrammatic representation of five levels of Maslow hierarchy of needs and these five levels intermingle with Elderfer ERG model. The theory can also account for employers that fall victim to the frustration regression principle and become more intent on fulfilling relatedness needs such as socializing more frequently with co-workers during working hours. Now comes the recent updates. This is uh, an article which title is Global Brain Drain. How can the Maslow theory of motivation improve over understanding of physician migration? The migration of physician from low source to high resource setting is a prevalent global phenomena that is insufficiently understood. Most low income countries are severely understaffed with physician and the immigration of the already limited number of physician to other countries can significantly reduce access to healthcare in the source country. Despite our growing interest in global capacities building in these countries by academic and non-government organization in high income countries, efforts to stem physician migration have been mostly unsuccessful. The authors review that current literature for the motivational factor leading to physician migration in the context of Maslow hierarchy of human needs. Our study found that financial safety needs were major drive of physician migration. Factor related to self-actualization, such as the desire for professional uh, development through training opportunities and research were also major contribution. These findings highlight the multifactorial nature of physician motivation to emigrate from low sources country. Maslow theory of motivation may provide a useful framework for future studies evaluating the concern of physician in low-income countries and as a guide to incentives retention. This is another article, a critical review of Maslow theories of spirituality. Maslow theory might be one of the most powerful perspective on human growth. It suggests that people have a strong desire to realize their full potential and reach their self-actualization and find meaning in life. In spite of its attractive nature, the theory has also received much criticism. One of the main objective focus on its emphasis on self, which might be interrupted as an individualistic perceptive of life. Maslow's later edition of transcendence level seems more compatible with the notion of spirituality since people seem now 
be able to overcome self and commit themselves to a higher goal. Now it's time for the MCQ session. 45-year-old person motivation reads to his or her full potential according to Maslow hierarchy of needs in which level this is fall. Physiological needs, self-esteem, self-actualization, safety, or cognitive. Self-actualization? Yes, the answer is correct. C, self-actualization. The ability to recover from painful experience and difficult event is not an unusual quality of person and it can be developed in everyone. Which type of quality is this? Development of resilience, development of self-esteem, development of self-actualization, development of safety, development of cognition. E? Yeah, development of self-esteem B <clears throat> is the right answer. Mentally healthy person having all facilities like eating, food, breathing, sleep, and proper home for routine activity. Which level of hierarchy this category falls? Physiology, self-esteem, love and belongings, safety, and cognition. Physiology. A is the right answer, physiology. XYZ organization can improve working condition and improve salaries. According to the two-factor theory, which factor is shown in the statement? Hygiene factor, motivation factor, self-esteem, cognitive factor, needs factor. A? A is the correct answer, hygiene factor. In XYZ theory, employees with a high need for affiliation are motivated if they can work with more people. Assigning them to join a team in one way to satisfy them in this statement, which theory explain. Maslow hierarchy of needs, Herzberg two-factor theory, McRogers theory, McLeod's theory, or theory of motivation. E. Yes, D is the right answer, McLeod's theory. Maslow theory, one of the most powerful perceptive perspective in human growth. It suggests that people have strong desire to realize their full potential. Which domain is missing according to the researcher? Spirituality, self-esteem, self-actualization, physiological needs or safety? Spirituality. Yes, you are right. A is the correct answer, spirituality. According to McLeod's theory of motivation, two factors are required for high achievers. High need of power and low need of affiliation. High need of uh, achievement and low need of affiliation. High need of power and high need of affiliation. High need of affiliation and low need of power. Low need of power and high need of affiliation. A? A? Yes, you are right. A is the correct answer. High need of power and low need of affiliation is required for high achievers according to McLeod's theory. In Eldefford theory, need for growth cover the which aspect of Maslow theory of needs? Self-esteem, self-actualization, safety needs, physiological needs or social needs? Social needs. Self-actualization. ERG theory explained that one employee fall in a frustration regression, then how this theory helps the victim remain in growth needs, remain in relatedness needs, remain in existence needs, remain in safety needs, or remain in social needs. B? Yes, B is the right answer. When person fall in a frustration re regression, according to ERG theory, then the person remain in relatedness needs, make the terms with other people. In ABC organization, person express oneself in a pleasing way. According to Maslow theory, which domain is covered? Aesthetic needs, safety needs, physiological needs, self-esteem or self-actualization? Aesthetic needs. Yes, you are right. A is the correct answer, aesthetic needs. This is the key of my MCQs.
YouTube link of my presentation and thank you. Thank you so much.